Hi everybody, I'm Adam Cavati, the founder of iDeck.net, and I thought today I'd go over a new Tweetit functionality that I've added into the application. So if you go to the iDeck webpage, uh, which you can see right here, iDeck.net, uh, you will find on there a new tool called Tweetit. Now just like the iDeck it tool, you can copy this directly to your browser and easily uh, access it from anywhere. So I've already done that here, but it's just as simple as dragging it up there like that. Um, on IE, you would right click, select add, add to favorites, and then you just want to put it in the links toolbar. So the power of this is that instead of where you used to click iDeck and it would just automatically create a link for something, uh, automatically shorten it for you, um, with this you can easily actually tweet directly from a web page. So let's say I'm on Chris Brogan's site, uh, you know, great social media um, enthusiast, just a fantastic guy for learning all about social media, and I'm reading this article that he's got about the Panasonic, um, which is a press conference he went to where he kind of scoops some stories, and uh, going through it I actually see that I think this sentence kind of encapsulates what he's trying to talk about. You know, how have or can we use social media tools in real time to capture the stories around us? Well, that's fantastic. So what I want to do is tweet this. I mean, I might even comment on his site, so I'm not really done. Um, so I'm going to click on this tweet it page, uh, bookmark rather, and it brings up the login page right here. Now, once I've logged in once, I don't have to do it again. So this is a one-time thing once it's in my cookie. Um, we do have our privacy policy in case you want to read it, but we store this information encrypted in your cookie uh, on a browser. So it's safe there and we don't keep it on our server. So I'm going to go ahead and store that. And now what it does is it grabs the URL, so it's available right here, um, and it's going to make a iDeck URL out of that. And it also grabs the text that I highlighted. If I hadn't highlighted anything, it would have just used the uh, title of the web page. So um, I think that I'm just going to leave this like this. I actually might put, um, I might just put a little Chris, Chris Brogan in there. Excuse my typing. I'll put that in there. Um, so that's great. I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to tweet it. And just like that, the message has been tweeted. I can just close this out and continue to go along with what I was doing. Um, if we load up Twitter, right there, um, you can see all the people that I tweet with. You can actually see that it's right there and it's created the link for me. So I very easily just created that link and tweeted it and I wasn't actually taken away from my web page so I can continue to surf and do what I'm doing uh, very easily. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and again if you have any more questions about it always you can feel free to tweet me at Cavati uh, or you can actually go and click on this link that was right below there and we explain a little bit more in detail about how this works and what you can do with it and it also talks about what that quick iDeck link does. Again, I'm Adam Cavati, the founder of iDeck, and I hope you enjoy that. Hope you have a great day. Bye.